378. <laughs> I'm sweating so much. It's so hot. I'm getting eaten by mosquitoes because my mom had all the water outside now for a month to water the plants and they were creating these, you know, Hitchcock birds. That's what's happening in here. I'm going out and they are attacking me. It's like a black cloud that is attacking me. So I, I cried. I cried because it was hurting so, so damn bad. It's not a normal mosquito bite. It's this tiger stupid bites. It's crazy. And my mom created now a big, big family of mosquitoes here. Um, I'm full, full carnivore the last days eating only meat and butter and uh, <laughs> my body never looked worse really I don't know if it's the butter and I don't care right now honestly I don't I don't care because also maybe the, the extreme heat and the mosquito bites are affecting me but my body is wobbly wobbly <laughs> and stinky and just a really strange odor which also attracts maybe the mosquitoes right now um, and I had a sunburn, so all the, the amazing things that are with the carnivores and no, it's not every day like that. <laughs> so <laughs> stop bullshitting people because ooh, I can smell myself, honestly. And I was showering two times already, and I was showering cold, <laughs> so <laughs> just, ah. but uh, yeah, that's that's the honesty we are having, and also my skin is not the best because of my sunburn that I had in Croatia but but the good part is I moved to the smaller apartment here and put my mom into my big beautiful apartment and created her perfect space and now I have only prototype stuff here and just you know stupid sorry stupid furniture and you know everything is just a mess and uh, just hanging stuff that uh that were laying around so i wanted to create this mediterranean perfect pinterest perfect place <laughs> i'm so committed and i wanted to do it myself i wanted to do it with my bare hands because i'm not handy and i i'm i created this <laughs> so <laughs> no i'm really not handy um and i started creating a prototype outside of a barbecue place and i wanted to have this mediterranean white stone sitting area within the middle of the white stones around the big barbecue i have a big barbecue and uh having then this rosemary kind of trees behind that's what i want to create um and also have an outdoor kitchen, which then will be also this kind of Mediterranean style. I would love to have that. And also here to create everything. I'm gonna show you. Here we need a big, big space. Uh, like, um, how do you say that? <laughs> Where you put stuff. There is <coughs> just a prototype kitchen uh, for now, so we can use it. But I wanted to have this whole space, like a big, uh, white and brown kitchen Mediterranean style and also change these black color things and uh, the workspace should also be a little bit more Mediterranean style and I'm sleeping on here and Luca is gonna sleep here he's 11 and he wants to sleep with me um, in one room and he likes to sleep with my mom in one room so until it's like that we can live like this and uh, rent our other apartment from my mom so or have guests over and i'm creating the space that i had in my mind in croatia honestly that was the best decision i had it was just a genius genius strike <laughs> to change my perfect apartment which is too comfy and i know it sounds stupid but for me it's too comfy and i'm a person when i'm too comfy also in relationships i let myself go so i need also a challenge i need to put myself in the situation that I want to be outside, that I want to do something outside. And that's what I realized in Bosnia. And the smaller the space and the more people in a space, the, the less I can handle it. I just can't. I'm such a loner and I like my, you know, quiet spaces. But if I don't have them, I have to go outside to have them. And right now, even watching Love, Love is Blind, which I love, by the way, <laughs> Netflix, um, I 
I couldn't even watch maybe two, three episodes. Usually I just binge watch it, but it's just too hard. It's too, too, it's too tight. And I just wanted to do something outside and I put some music on and created a little bit of this barbecue prototype. So um, I can tell you it was the, the best decision I had. So I can really tell you when you're struggling right now, being motivated, doing some things that you want to do, change your perspective. That helps a lot. And I mean, really change it. Change maybe rooms. That even can help. Something also we did at, at Christmas is is something really crazy just to get it get get it you out of your normal thinking we were eating under the table not on the table we just did it under the table and it was the coolest thing for my son it was so much fun to eat under the table and to do some crazy things or just to work um in a bathtub you know have your laptop and sit in a bathtub it's so crazy but it will put your mind in a different situation where you can get yourself out with such an easy thing. It's so easy. Just, just if you have a bath or a shower, just sit for a couple of minutes with your laptop in the shower and see if something creative come, comes along. Uh, because at work, my uh, only, uh, I have two people left in my team that are smart and, and, and good. Uh, and my other colleagues said she's gonna switch the teams because she can't handle the, the the Vienna technician people and I do get that I'm lucky that my technicians are extremely good um, but uh, yeah so at work my team lead got fired so our whole team is just breaking apart and I have and I'm a problem solver but if I start solving these problems they gonna um, they gonna how do you say that they gonna huh? promote me and I don't want that <laughs> I don't want that in this company I don't want to be promoted to be in higher positions no 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 really not because then you just get all the punches for something that and you know work that doesn't matter you know it doesn't matter you get a lot of money but for what then to always be in a bad mood to always have issues now it's get, I, the first time in life i have a work life balance honestly i created my space to do whatever i want however i want it and i'm making a big impact on a lot of people and that's so fun and i enjoy it and i love it and i have the time to just click out like today i didn't even think about work not at all never in the weekend almost never and then I'm creating this space and making some plan A, B, C and try to figure out if something goes wrong, what can I do and uh, what, what can't I do and just experiment a little bit and learn something new. And it's so much fun. It's so fun to learn something that will come to your benefit if something in your life goes wrong. So if you, I, I honestly can tell you me just switching these apartments and creating new spaces I walk 10,000 steps up and down the stairs. I'm not the, I'm gonna take a long walk and go nowhere type. I don't see the point in that. I do walk or drive with the bike if I have something I need to buy and I, I'm driving there and I have like a goal to, to do something. <laughs> I can't just do it just for fun because it's, that's not fun for me. I don't consider that fun. For me, fun is something when I see that it has an outcome, like, you know, creating the spaces has the biggest outcome. When I declutter, it has a big outcome. Um, when I go to, to buy something, if I, I bring something back and it has an outcome. So, um, yeah, that's what I can tell you. <laughs> I just need to drink because I'm sweating. Mm. But I can tell you, I'm so committed right now. Did I tell you? That right now, I really have that in mind. I think I explained it in my, my, my previous video. Um, that I want to create this carnivore little space where I can have people, carnivore people, and we can have barbecues together and we can have be surrounded by some chickens. Because I don't have much space, but uh, some chickens, I think that would be, I'm not sure if it would be allowed, but also some, you know, fruit trees 
So if we have some fruits, great. If not, if they're not growing, then we don't have them. So that's the good part. And just going really to the butcher every day and buying fresh meat and creating it and, you know, doing the barbecue, having these dinners together, enjoying life when we come with music and learning again a little bit playing guitar because I used to play guitar but and just create my own music. But I'm, I was only doing it, you know, for fun and um, I, I, I never was really good because my fingers hurt because of the MS. That's why I stopped and I can't even play really now with my fingers. They're really painful still. But um, I'm hoping with carnivore and everything that's already changing and, and showing up in the a, in a MRIs that uh, soon I can play my guitar again a little bit more and just learn again how to play it because I really suck. <laughs> I only can maybe do some two or three things and that's it. So I'm, I'm really not good at it. I'm also not good at singing, but I enjoy I enjoy creating something um, to telling a story in form of music and just, you know, changing some lyrics or creating my own just to get it out of my head or creating stories, which, you know, put me into a little bit of a fantasy situation that helps me to, to cope with all the madness in the world, honestly, because there's so much going wrong. Also politician-wise, religion-wise, um, also some carnivores being attacked, like Courtney Luna. I feel so pity for her. I don't know why people are attacking her so bad. It's really bad. The comments are insane. They are. I, I was devastated yesterday, and um, they told her she's a child abuse. They told her she's a child abuser by feeding her kids raw milk and feeding them meat. Child abuser. Do you know what this means and how awful that is to say that to such a caring mom that takes care and cooks for their kids and teaches their kids? It's disgusting. It's disgusting, honestly. And um, to they wanted to call child protection on her. And there were a lot of comments in that direction. And I saw that in Germany that that happened to one woman who was just yelling at her boyfriend all the time in all these shows. She never heard him. But they were calling child protection on her, that she's an aggressive person and her child should be put away from her. They never saw her with the child. They just saw her with the guy she was screaming at. And it was one year almost that she struggled with these people that they are visiting and looking if she's hurting her child. And it was awful. So it's, it's not something that, you know, some stupid people are saying and commenting on the Internet. They are calling. They are calling this child protection services if if they are very committed and believe me moms are the most committed people in this planet <laughs> so if they really really think that she's doing that and i don't know how the american system works but as i said in in germany i saw it with, with one of the reality stars and i was really shocked that this is possible <coughs> on the one hand of course it was a good thing in many cases but in this case it's it's hardcore it's really hardcore um so that's why i always that's why i said also to courtney i, I wrote her once and we, we we talked about it but i i told her to block these people because she's teaching the algorithm that she likes to engage with this content and that's a bad thing because it's not only about her it's about also and that's what i also said it's about protecting your community and your community are a lot of moms who are watching you, who are loving you, who want to protect you and their children. And we are going then into this protection mode and investing time to answer these crazy people and prove them wrong, which is just a waste of time because they're not getting it. If they're committed and if they're writing something like that, they're not going to change their mind. Somebody that will change their mind will write, okay, can you explain me why you are feeding them raw milk? I'm very interested. This person you should engage with but not the person who was calling you a child abuser and you are engaging with their content and telling you, oh, 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 that's not funny. It's not. Everybody should block this kind of people and not use them to push algorithms just for their favors to, to get more fame because it's hurting their community. It does. Me reading these comments are really breaking my heart. And I think that a lot, a lot of people uh, have the same reactions to a lot of hate comments. And I see it also with my other friends. They are engaging with a lot of content online that they think are, you know, 
commenting wrong direction and they they want to prove them wrong but it's such a waste of time it's such a waste of time and uh we should inspire people who want to be inspired and um that's why i i honestly think hate should not be used to push algorithms it should be stopped it should be blocked and uh, deleted and just not engaged with so not more and more these people are shown this kind of content and you are just missing the point finding the right community for you that's just my own opinion but this hate uh hate um thing is, is getting completely out of control people creating stuff that they know the haters gonna engage with it and then you know just you know Sean Sh Baker is also kind of you know creating this kind of content because he knows he's provoking these people and he's getting the attention also to to raise attention of course you can reach then more people uh the, the more your content is showing but i honestly think you need your own story and you need to be interesting uh with your own content and not use content from others or bash others or engage with haters to create your your fame or whatever is you you're wanting to i i honestly think that's not really the the right way to go honestly but maybe maybe i'm wrong prove me wrong <laughs> uh feel free to prove me wrong so oh yeah um, i'm gonna take you outside where the mosquitoes hopefully will not attack me oh you want to see that i don't know can you see that no i messed up so bad yeah you see it. <laughs> I'm not handy, I told you. I tried to make this thing so that nobody can see inside, but uh, yeah. <coughs> My prototype. And I want to have that in white. And then here I want to have the, the barbecue place, that was smaller one as well. And then, yeah, and then create here a space with a thingy. And then I want to make the pool also some white outsie and And here is my other chaos that I want to create here, a big outdoor kitchen. Um, we're going to eliminate all of these things. So it's a lot, a lot to do, but it's just perfect, perfect place to be. And what we also have is strawberries, a lot of them. I'm scared of going there because we had rats and snakes and it's really high the grass since we haven't been one month here. So I want to wait for my mom. I even hear this stupid little bastard. <laughs> we do have a cherry tree uh, from the neighbors. <sighs> Damn stupid. Duh. <laughs> God. I just can't. And all the flies and all the wasps. Oh, I swear. <laughs> I'm just too yummy for them. <laughs> even I can't go in public. So, did I say? I'm uh, smelling awful smelling awful so no carnivores can smell awful i don't know why <laughs> some really strange is going on in my body and uh having highly inflammatory just smushy smushy everything and uh sunburns and all these things and, and uh, mouth breath uh, everything everything that they say carnivores don't have i had it the last two days being hardcore carnivore <sighs> so just Ignore it. <laughs> Ignoring it. So maybe it's just the butter with me, but um yeah. I can handle being full carnivore with the best steaks and the best butter, but without it it's hardcore to be strict strict carnivore and not the more less affair carnivore where you also have cheese and um you know highly processed sausages or something like that. Um, or fruits, especially in Croatia, it was fruits. But yeah, that's basically it. But I have a food al fru 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 fruit allergy. Also funny. <sighs> I don't know what to tell you. So, that's it. Tell me what your big projects are. Would love to hear. And uh, I'm just not posting very every day like I usually do now in the summer. Because I'm really occupied with... Uh, with all these things so i don't have much to say and it's so hot i'm just really 
exhausted by this heat. So, um, especially in the winter, I'm gonna go into the groove of every day again. But now it's every two, three days. So, um, hope this is fine for you. And uh, big hugs and kisses and everything. <laughs> so, see you tomorrow. Or the day after tomorrow.